As an attacker, this setup is very difficult to gunfight. You're going to have a hard time planting, especially because of gunfighting scenarios and C4 coming your way from that breach. If you try to rotate around, you're going to deal with the exact same problem. This is what makes Mira so good. Dynamic control over entire sight lines of map without having to do anything except be there at the right place at the right time. I'm going to show you some plug and play defaults for every ranked map except for Outback in Rainbow Six Siege, and that should give you an idea of where to start. This video is sponsored by Apex Gaming PCs. Pre-built gaming PCs with three different trims. Check out the price points for yourself at the link in the description and use my code Gregor to get a discount. In fact, we already have the default for Oregon Basement set up for you here. This, the purpose of this is to hold the laundry cross down as well as any setup that you have for freezer. As a mirror player, you do have a secondary shotgun or you might be running the first primary shotgun if that's how you roll, but you will be expected to do some rudimentary site setup. You're not gonna be spending a ton of time on it, but you do wanna help your team out. And if you are the only shotgun player, you're probably gonna have to do it all yourself. So we'll also cover the default rotates. You have a default rotate here for laundry. You can get it in three shots just like that pretty easily. And let's get the full site setup just to get you an idea of what to do. So this is a typical head level hole setup for the freezer. And you can also add some holes here to make it just a little bit more difficult for the enemy to push down tower stairs. You can have somebody play back here. Then you'll typically have a rotate here for your elbow player. The elbow player is going to fight, come back, and then reinforce this later. Obviously, you're going to need the hatch for box reinforced. So make sure somebody does that. Uh, if you have teammates that aren't naturally going for it, well, uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> Good luck. And then you have the other default mirror here for... Then you, have the other, then you have the other default mirror. Assuming that you haven't done this, uh, you, should, you should be good. So the purpose of this mirror was to hold blue bunker. And this is a pretty standard setup. You're just going to contest the gunfight angles here. Generally speaking, you want to hold this for as long as you can. If you stay on the board, if you keep people on the board, if you keep elbow control, you can get a lot of leverage out of this particular position. If you really want to get crazy with it, if you don't have a pillar or a Shiko player, uh, at certain points, you know, Mira can, can double out of this and then get a little bit more aggressive here for a late flank. You can also throw C4 here to get a pick in case there's something like a Blitz Rush on the way. Sometimes you'll have a Malusi, you'll have um, Goyo Traps, Fenrir. You're, you're typically just going to allocate a lot of utility to this side of the map. And if they don't decide to push this, they'll probably rotate around for a freezer hit, in which case your teammate here in the supply closet can contest this angle pretty efficiently. They do have to be kind of careful with their positioning here. If you hold it close to the wall like this, you can kind of contest the freezer uh, hop down just a little bit, but you won't be watching laundry. So you're either going to be playing close on the wall so that you can't get shot by laundry, or you're going to be playing a little bit further back, holding the staircase down, uh, and you got to play kind of in the back to be careful to not get shot from freezer. But as long as you just pay attention, you know, just kind of keep in mind your situational like positioning, you should be okay. So we're on the top floor now. We got the default rotate. Let's talk about some positioning principles with the mirrors. So basically when you put down a default mirror like this with a reinforcement and a head level hole next to it, what you are looking for is to make sure that you don't put your teammates or yourself in a position where you have to cross an open line of sight and get shot on the way um, when you're rotating. This mirror works in my favor because I can hold the top armory stair kind of uh, kind of gunfight angle there. And I can also hold master when they walk in to a certain extent. I do kind of have to play in the back to make sure I don't get shot from armory stairs. But if I put the mirror here, then my teammates are going to get screwed by this if they try to drop and then cross towards kids. Here in attic, you can have a player back you up for a refrag. Just provide a ton of unfair gunfights as somebody comes around. So if I peek out of this doorway, I can get shot from the swing by the mirror itself. I also have to take into consideration an angle here, an angle here. But if we lose map control and then the head level holes are in a location that covers my cross away, like imagine this is reverse, dead, right? Like I can't, I can't leave. I have to stay here the entire time and that's not good. Another common default mirror here is for the kids' dorms rotate. This is pretty frustrating to deal with if I come around for attic and I want to get kids control. I'm going to need help from a teammate to get on the window to clear that position. I might need nades from below. It's very difficult to take just a 50-50 gunfight here. Because not only am I worried about the mirror, I'm also worried about somebody playing back here. I'm worried about somebody playing back here, etc. And obviously, don't forget the default rotates if they are expected of you. This setup's another basic default for bank basement. Mira is really good on this site. You want to reinforce the wall here because if you don't, if you reinforce it here and then you place the mirror like switcheroo, reversed around, somebody's going to open this hatch and then they can just shoot you in the legs. Just a little 
side note to keep in mind. But this is big because Smoke can play behind this. You can play behind this. You can play for C4s too, in case they go for the default plant. Another big component of the strategy is to have a garage mirror. And what this will do is it'll keep garage control for you. Garage control is really useful as a defender because if the enemy manages to get a hold of garage, this is another route that they have to push you off of red and to go for the site execute a lot more cleanly. When you're here in red, you're pretty safe for the most part and you can dictate the pacing of the engagement unless they get garage control. If they get garage control, then it's a little bit more frustrating to hold this position. Now, what you can do is you can have a garage player here, and then if the site take pivots almost exclusively to A, let's say you have like three or four people on A, your garage player can actually help you hold the site. What you can do is shoot the mirror open for them, and now they can help you hold the main wall. So a rook here with a two times scope or anybody with a 1.5 is going to be really, really good on this position. Now I'm going to show you a trick that you may have noticed at the beginning of the video here. Why am I shotgunning the wall before I put the mirror down? Well, what I'm doing is I put down the reinforcement and the mirror goes on top. And then from the other side, you can see what I'm illustrating. The edges around the mirror itself are clean, increasing the visibility from where you are shooting off of the mirror. Normally there'd be a bunch of drywall kind of caked around it. You can see a little bit that hasn't been quite cleaned off. It doesn't take that long to do, and it's just a nice quality of life thing. Some people like to set up the peak close to the mirror, but in my opinion, this isn't quite as safe because it will expose you from fighting from the main stairs as well as the blue door. So what you can do here is you can make a standing rotate and you can fight for the wall breach here. This angle is going to be a lot more difficult to gunfight against because you're so far away from the mirror. Your visibility is going to be a lot smaller to the enemy team. You want to be careful about main stairs. To keep this area safe, you want to have a blue player. But here, you're not going to get shot by somebody like halfway pushed down blue. That way, your blue player has a little bit more flexibility. This is a lot less safer, right? Because if a blue player is pushed up like this, then they're going to shoot me on the mirror. Now, in order to contest the mirror, they have to get a lot closer and expose themselves. For the other side of the site, you can just do a basic intel mirror that's probably going to get shot or melee you're not going to do aggressive gun fighting off of this but this is nice to know hey somebody is like in big garage right now they're pushing big garage so somebody can play on this wall hold the door and let you know if people are coming from big or west main another favorite default of mine that's super easy to do for clubhouse so what we're going to do here is we're going to have the mirror that you've seen a million times for clubhouse bathroom gym bathroom gym bedroom gym that's what, that's what they call me back in oh no bathroom gym anyway bathroom gym you can set up a mirror here for bathroom gym bathroom gym really likes this default because he can throw c4 over it bathroom gym let's check it out portrait what does bathroom gym look like <laughs> dude it's bathroom gym. Uh, okay all right bathroom gym's jawline is like what the f look at that the, the adventures of bathroom gym dude for the second part of this setup you're gonna need a jaeger ads the reason being people are gonna get on this hatch and then right so yeah don't you don't want any of that mess so that being said this mirror is massive right this is really really big this is super useful something else you can do i like to see this a lot frost mat underneath here if they don't drone it It'll probably catch them, but this contests cash and con simple stuff. Don't put it on the other side because then you'll get caught, right? You can't cross effectively default rotate for the site. Then you got another default rotate. I commonly see people put footholds here. If you have a second shotgun on the board, you might want to get your teammate to do it. As you can see, I'm running out of ammo. There you go. This default for border is more of a deterrent that's eventually going to get dealt with, but you're going to use it to waste time. You can put it right on the wall. Thermite is definitely not going to be trying to blow this up if somebody's swinging off of this doorway. So you're going to need a Habana or Ace. And don't forget, you can relay information with this mirror. Plus, if they get close to try and melee it, you can just fry them. So you want to contest this for as long as possible. If they get CC control and they start opening stuff up, then you're going to have to back off. But for the initial gunfights here, you can at least waste time. Maybe get a pick on the rappel or something. If anybody's stupid enough to keep holding this, you can just punish them. Now, here's the fun part. So this is a mirror that you're going to see a couple of times here and there. It's relatively uncommon. It started in uh, year two, but for some reason it kind of fell out of popularity. It's what I call the C4 Mira. You put this here, somebody gets on AC window, fry them, start pushing the east plant for A bomb, fry them, get too close, see a bunch of smokes, ying, stuff like that, C4. All right, so cafe, now we're going to do some site setup too that you should be mindful of now that it's on my mind. Do not put the rotate here. If you put the rotate here, you can get shot in the foot from skylight. Put rotate here. All right, so what I want to do here, we got a wall reinforcement here, and now we're going to have a mirror to contest piano. Bada bing. 
This one's pretty simple. I mean, you can contest the ticket window here. You want to fight the windows. You want to make it as difficult as possible for the enemy team to just sit pretty on there on upside down repel and contest your piano players. So your piano players playing here are going to really, really benefit from you playing off of this mirror and backing them up. Then another thing I like to do is put a mirror here for the default plant. So what I'm doing here is basically creating a little escape route for myself from Cocktail Bout. That way I can just see you. Might be able to play C4. Anyway, you put the mirror here and then you can fight the default plant. Cigar. New even to a certain extent. Crazy that's still called new. Next up, Villa. I'm not a huge fan of the double mirror setups in Aviator games just because I think that they get too consolidated towards study. And sometimes if you're not flexible enough, you're going to get hit from red and 90 side. These mirrors allow you to kind of contest master bedroom a lot more easily. And I think that the flow of the map kind of goes more towards in that direction. I'll happily show you an aviator game setup and some shorts that's kind of supplementary to this. But for now, let's just focus on this anyway. So quick match 2.0 is lying to you. Don't go off of what quick match 2.0 shows you to do. Do what I'm doing, okay? Reinforce these two walls, all right? Then you have the head level holes to the left side here. Now, when you get a mirror in play, then this just elevates it. You can get nated from below. You might need a roamer down below. Jaeger ADS obviously be nice here. Maybe have a Wamai play bricks and then throw Wamai discs. Then on the other side, we have our default rotate. You're going to use this to contest Astro as well as the door. Contest the window and contest the staircase. Skyscraper is a great map for Mira. Usually when you have a reinforcement in between two soft walls like this, sometimes you'll call it pirate. Uh, I think that might be more of a comp tailored sort of call out. I don't really hear people call that pirate and ranked. I call it pirate and it seems to work there. Um, but with your stack, that might be a little confusing. So just call it what you want, but you're usually going to have a middle reinforcement and then place the mirror like this. Then you'll contest the main wall and you can peek either way off of it, obviously. You got to be a little bit quicker to the draw on the left side, but towards the right, you obviously, you can just, you can bolo peek it kind of. Same deal with the other side. You can have a mirror here facing towards dragon. The building partitions itself along this way between drag and terrace. You need to play a pretty consolidated roam presence on the west side of the map. Otherwise, you'll just get shot when they get control. Roaming is really, really important on this site and this map in general for this reason. But you can contest Dragon for a pretty significant amount of time with this Mira. Next up is a Mira setup for Theme Park that I'm a huge fan of. Theme Park's already such a defender-sided map. You can pretty much lock this site down if you play it correctly. So you get the Mira on here, facing towards Cash. Typical head level holes. I personally hate peeking this. There's so many different angles I can get shot from. Here, here, here. It's a huge pain. Same deal for a setup here towards Control Room. Default here. Peek off of it to the right. Can kind of hold the window, but usually you're going to play for the hop in. Hold the door. Just a really powerful position to be on. Consulate's kind of a boxing map, so Mira is really good on it too. Default hold here is with the reinforcement on the right side. Mira goes like this. You can throw C4 over it with this typical kind of setup. C4 for the default plant. My favorite part of the setup. Reinforcement on the left side here. Mira goes down. Holes on the right. This is a gnarly pixel angle for anybody that tries to push up the yellow staircase. It's pretty much impossible to fight you off of this. You're leaning into the gunfight, which gives you the advantage. You can shoot them while they cross towards your left. Classic pixel peak. This is really powerful. This one is kind of controversial. I showed it off in a short not too long ago, but this one actually dates back to like year two when the game first added the Spanish operators and the map coastline. This is a Mira vaultable rotate. I'm going to put it just a little bit higher. Yeah, there we go. This is a throwback. So basically what the purpose of this is, is for you to be able to shoot the door and also to throw C4s over top of it. This one really irritates the hell out of a lot of people. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure why, because it was pretty meta for a pretty significant period of time. I mean, look at that. Like, I'm completely protected while I throw the C4 and I can see them while they are pushing in. Like, there's not a lot of situations where you get perfect C4 intel like that. And I can't really tell exactly where they're going to peek from, right? Usually with a default Mira, I can pre-aim at head level and kind of cut them off into the swing. Here, it's like, you know, I, I can get peeked here, here, here. Like, it, like it's just, it's a really difficult Mira to fight. Like, you pretty much need a Zof, uh, a Flores, stuff like that. So you want a Jaeger ADS here, too. And you want to keep control of jungle. You want to get intel down here. Then this is the default setup for pirate. Called pirate for the same reasons that we pointed it out on skyscraper. And there you have it. You could bring a castle. That would help you out a lot here too for this site. All right. So for canal, it's a very linear map. And there's ways that you can utilize Mira. But the problem is that you have a lot of window play that can cut off these long corridors. 
So you kind of have to play away from the quarters and get more control over them with your line of sight. I'm going to repeat one of those C4 mirrors right here. And this will be used to contest the walk-in from the main breach. So this gets open and then you fight it. Or you throw C4 for the default plant. Then what you want to do over here... You're going to hold top red. And this angle is really messed up. Because what can happen here is they'll push out and then they're going to expect a pre-fire from here because the mirror is there. What will happen instead is you'll be standing up on this off angle and then fry them instead of just getting pre-fired right off the jump. So you can hold the door with this really effectively. And this should be reinforced for various reasons. This wall right next to it. Ninehaven's also a pretty good mirror map, especially the top floor site. We get a reinforcement here for the connector wall. And then this wall that opens up a ton of the space for the top floor site suddenly becomes a million times more difficult to take control of. If you place it on the right side, they will peek into it like this, and then boom. Now here's the fun part. I can fight to keep Raptors control with this mirror. I can fight this doorway, and I can even fight a little bit of the actual IT breach if they go in really, really far. If you get somebody posted up here by electrical, they can fight this before they even get close enough to melee it. Finally, a map that I actually like quite a lot, but everybody seems to not like it for some reason, Emerald Plains. So this site's interesting because you can control a lot of the pacing of the gunfights from this room in particular, meeting. Again, with any kind of mirror placement, Castle is just your main guy. Castle and Mira duo very well. But what I'm going to do is reinforce this. Pretty standard setup here. You're going to control the window and you can also C4 for the plant. Here you got the same deal going on. Very powerful room. If you stay in it and keep control of it, you can see for both of the default plants from almost the same position. I mean, all you have to do is move, you know, maybe, I guess maybe it was at like eight meters, six. You get the idea. C4, I'm across here. Same deal, C4. Pretty cool. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. Let me know if you want to see more gadget placement stuff like this in the future. I'd love to keep this format going uh, and I'd love to uh, make money off of my Rainbow Six Siege content. So let me know if this video was suitable and I'll make more uh, like it if you like it.